welcome back to another Project NOAA Nature School activity. I'm your host and personal nature guide, Miss Mallory, the curious conservationist, and today we are learning all about moths. Moths come in an incredible diversity of colors, patterns, and shapes. And while butterflies might receive a bit more love and attention, moths are actually much more diverse and have evolved long before butterflies. In fact, in North America, we have over 11,000 species of moths and only 700 species of butterflies. Most moth species are nocturnal and are ecologically important pollinators for plants and flowers during the nighttime. Bats are the main predators of moths, but there are many nocturnal animals that also hunt moths, including birds, spiders, lizards, and small rodents. What better way to learn about moths than up close and in person? Mothing is an exciting activity to observe and learn about these nighttime creatures. We will attract moths using a light and a white sheet. Here are some steps to attract moths at night. One, you want to use a white cotton sheet. This works much better than a plastic sheet because the moths are able to hold on to the fibers. Two, you want to hang the sheet between trees or use a clothesline if you're out in the field. If mothing near a building or home, you can also simply hang the sheet on an outside wall or garage. Try to pick a spot as dark as possible so the moths will be attracted to your light instead of the street lamp. Next, shine a strong light on your sheet. A battery operated light or flashlight will work, but an ultraviolet black light will work best. Try to make sure your entire white sheet is lit up by your lights. Observe and photograph your moths as they arrive on your sheet. Jot down field notes on the number of moths, patterns, and any unique species that you observe. After you have finished your observations and photographs, use the SEEK mobile application to identify the species of moths photographed during your mothing exercise. SEEK is a free and powerful mobile application that quickly helps with species identifications. And lastly, send Project NOAA Nature School an email with photos of your moth sheet setup and your favorite moth photographs. We will produce an ebook with all of the school's moths photos and share it with every participating school. You can email us at education at projectnoaa.org. Here are some helpful tips to make your mothing experience even more successful. Try to pick a warm, humid night without too much moonlight. Mothing works best during the summer months. Also, place another white sheet on the ground under the light so you can see the ground and try to avoid stepping on any moths. You can also find some other nocturnal creatures that want to be attracted to your lights. Remember to email us your mothing setup and your favorite moth photos. We look forward to seeing your moth pictures and hearing about your mothing adventures. And a final friendly reminder from the Project NOAA Nature School team. For all students and classes engaging in mothing, work closely with your educator and have adult supervision for nighttime mothing activities at all times. Happy mothing, everyone. I'll see you soon.